This is Power World's ultimate beginner guide for all you newbies out there who just haven't picked up the game yet. Um, also, who are looking to pick up the game but haven't had the ability to, or also just waiting until it's free. Or if you're a PlayStation 5 fan and you're continuously waiting to see if it will ever come out to PlayStation. I know some of my friends are too. So what does this, um, what's the guide? Or what's the goal of this guide? So basically, it's a detailed plan for at least 1 to 25. Uh, helps with base location and layout. Uh, the skills and stats priority for you. So in the bottom right-hand corner of this photo right here, basically what help you prioritize what you want to do at the early on stages for, again, levels 1 to 25. Uh, next, how to get a high level or a high volume of basic materials. So that includes wood, stone, iron. Uh, priority tech farming. So that goes into the mandatory ones. That will go into the weapons you should start focusing on. And priority pals to hunt. So there's only, I would say, there are specific ones you should be looking out for. Some of them you'll see in those uh, little screenshots to the right. But that's okay. I would say majority of them are very important. So base location. So basically, what's the first step? Is basically final open field. It's as simple as that. There is a lot of terrain in this game, and you want your base lay like open as far as you can. Last thing you need is you're adjusting your base because half of your base is on a hill. My first base in the starting area, I did by a creek. Like, look at all that area right here. All that area is missing because I can't put anything inside the water. I wish I could. I was hoping that I would be like doing some Minecraft, oh, sorry, not Minecraft, but some Fortnite stuff where I can just lay out some stuff, but you can't, unfortunately. And until then, it was basically too late. Uh, basically, like an open field, like at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I this is where my actually my base is, is for my third, um, sorry, my third account. And basically, this is a good understanding of how your base should be laid out, I would say. However, there's an option for, I've seen some people put their base, actually, the black square is your base, just to be clear, at maybe one of the edges of the circle, and then have everything else built around it. And then, locations for a secondary base. I would say there's, so I would say, there's only one major location early on, I would say that's really good. And that's when you get up your base to level 10. So basically, skills, stats, uh, priority. I would say I didn't even take it. I didn't take my own advice in the, my account that I made, but I have noticed that the first couple ranks up you get, I would suggest putting all of it into weight. Main problem is when you're building a base early on, you're not looking to, to kill any of the high level uh, pals or hunt any of the high level pals. What you're looking for is to build a strong foundation of your base. And if you don't, you're going to be struggling, like just capturing the higher, higher level pals. Because you want the upgraded power balls. You want the upgraded weapons. But you need to put your effort into weight because the more you can carry, the more like back and forth you can go. You take less breaks and stuff. Next, I would suggest working on building speed and stamina. Again, building speed self-explanatory uh so go back to stamina stamina is important for even battles because you need stamina for if you're rolling around side to side but again that's why i put stamina like third priority because when you're around one to 25 you're not looking for these high-end battles where you're constantly rolling back and forth trying to get out of the way for the attack now weapons uh egg incubators and mandatory builds are very important um so mandatory builds the workbench, mandatory. So one of the, I think either it's the, actually it's the first thing you build in the game. Uh, logging site and stone pit, two of the most important builds. You need those, especially with good high level pals to just turn over the logging site because you need wood and you need a lot of stone. You need a fucking ton lot of stone. Uh, next, I would say spear. Bow and arrow are your two main basic ones you start off at the beginning because the club can only take you so far. So 
spear and bow are good starters, but then you want to move into the crossbow and the musket. Then the handgun is level 25. And again, the musket and the handgun are your main priorities, especially when you're at the level 20, 20, 25 area. And that's where you get into your major farms. That's where you start looking at the bosses. That's where you start looking at the high level pals. So I would say these are the majority pals you want to look for. I would say if you see these pals in the wild, you drop whatever you're doing and you hunt them. You hunt them down. Um, Vixie and the Leaf Monk. I would say these are very good starter pals, I would say. Uh, the Monkey Tansy. I, I don't know how I actually pronounce these guys actually properly. I just call them Tansy. He is a very good all-around pal in the base. Tombat is your main, like, as soon as you see him, you want to go straight for him. He is probably your main stone uh, guy for your stone pit. Um, the Elk Deer, he'll be your level two, um, sorry, excuse me, level two logger. Penguin King, he's very good overall. He's good with ice, water, obviously self-explanatory and the notion of that. Um, he has a lot of all-around characteristics when it comes to his kit, and he's a huge menace when it comes to when you want to bring him out to attack. Floppy, she's good. She is, I believe, 15 or 16. She is very difficult to catch, but if you do catch her, she's a good pick. Uh, Dig Toys, good pick. He is very difficult to catch, though, at 25, but I believe it's manageable with the upgraded balls you get. So that is the guide. And basically, the guides are very easy to understand, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is very hard to understand at all. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and the like button down below. And thank you so much for all your support, everybody. And hopefully everybody has a nice day.